Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and guys today we're gonna cover the news because it's Tuesday like always so let's go into the event right here and let's see what we have. So uh, we're gonna get a featured summon so basically Final Fantasy 6 and I think you know what Gumi I think you have something against Terra because it's a long time that Terra should have been coming out and uh, I was looking at the update schedule here on JP. And basically, uh, they skipped a lot of banners. Uh, they added a lot more banners over Terra. So basically, Terra was supposed to come out. Uh, then Kefka was supposed to come out. Then Wild Rose, Furion, and Dark Leon was supposed to come out. And uh, basically, she's been delayed again. Which uh, I'm not happy about. Because I really want that Terra because she's amazing. But nonetheless, maybe next week we will be getting the second part of that uh, featured summon. So right now... We can focus on Final Fantasy VI and Archmage Kefka and basically Assassin Shadow. So without further ado, let's see what uh, we have here. So basically the step up summon, guys, uh, it's pretty much the same thing as always. So right here, you guys can see it's going to cost us 24,000 Lapis. And maybe one day it's going to go down to 20,000 Lapis, which would be pretty, pretty nice. But without further ado again, let's talk about the characters themselves. So Archmage Kefka, basically the 5 star going to 7 star. He's a magic dealer slash uh, debuffer if I'm not mistaken so the super trust master corrupted mage it's a piece of materia boost magic by 60 percent and boost equipment magic when a single weapon is equipped with both hands so that's pretty nice then a stress master rewards an, ex an accessory arc mage mantle uh defense 12 magic plus 50 spirit plus 10 nullify sli sil silence silence confusion and stone there's always days like that when uh, I have a hard time reading. Featured abilities, uh, Triple Delirium, enables specific abilities to be used three times in one turn, activate one time each regardless of equipment condition. I hate, 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 hate you. Woo! One use every six turns, boost on magic, and enables Quadruple Delirium for four turns, which is pretty, pretty nice. Then the Global Upgrade, Havoc Wing, uh, basically one use every six turns, damage and reduce ice, lightning, and dark resistance for all enemies. Thank you very much. Then the next one, Assassin's Shadow. And uh, I gotta say, uh, this one's pretty funny. I never thought they would make Shadow a 6-star or a 7-star. But here he is, his Super Trust Master, uh, the Kajinui. Kajinui. So, yeah, I think it works good. Uh, it's really strong, actually. It's a Katana. Attack 186. Enables Shadow, Capture Blade, damage and chance of stopping all enemies. So that thing could be really, really good in the uh, arena. But nonetheless, a 186 Katana, ooh, that's pretty strong. Then the global upgrade is Stress Master Reward got some love. Heartless Assassin, boost physical damage against human and boost attack by 50% with equipped with a Katana. That's really nice. That is one piece that is really, really nice is the uh, damage, uh, the human killer right there. This is pretty good. All right. Shadow, you're not bad. You're still not bad. Featured abilities, dual blade mastery, boost damage, limit for various chains when armed with two wanted weapons then memento ring shadow as a seven star boost hp by 20 percent attack by 40 percent boost damage of certain abilities and change lb effect when hp falls below a certain point then the global upgrade that he got take down so basically one use every three turns reduce defense and uh, damage one enemy and enables wild fang for two turns for caster i wonder if the the defense break is something around like 70% or make it overpower and make it like a 100% defense break. That would be pretty, pretty insane. So that's for the banner. And that's for the featured summon. Then the floating continent, guys, this is going to be the raid event we're going to be getting with this collect event point to obtain completion rewards. So like any other raid event, the more you do the boss, the more coins you get, the more points you get. Uh, and you'll be able to craft some limited time equipment stuff. So let's see, we're going to be able to craft the ninja gear uh the flamboyant which is a rod actually this rod is really really nice so if you guys are a newer player uh that magic 93 is really really strong even the ninja gear the defense and the attack 20 is really nice uh floor point shuriken attack 182 it's a throwing weapon not that bad uh knowledge of katana and rods boost attack by 20 percent when equipped with a katana and boost magic by 20 percent when equipped with a rod uh this is actually not good but if this is actually not bad so if you guys are starting the game Again, uh, things here could be actually not that bad. So you're going to get the raid orbs and uh, you're just going to be fighting, fighting, fighting. 
and basically do the raid as many times as possible so you can get some good rewards. And I hope all of you guys basically get a lot of uh, these four star tickets, which are really rare, really, really rare in my, um, for me. I get them rarely, even though I can use like 400,000 coins, uh, I'm going to get like one four star seven ticket. That's it. Hopefully you guys are a little bit more lucky. Then uh, a mean ghoul, mean ghouls will become available. So basically on Thursday after maintenance, that's my phone. Uh, spooky Gooligan. So let's see what's Spooky Gooligan is a formidable foal that combines multiple multiple light attacks to deal tremendous damage Koopo. Uh, so like always, the little mog is telling us some info. Make sure to exploit his weakness against the dark element and to prepare your party's resistance against light before facing it in battle, Koopo. Be mindful of any elemental attacks you use against it though as it will respond in kind with elemental attacks of its own with the exception of dark kupo all right so maybe uh my boy leon can do some damage here initial completion reward we get a five percent mogul uh then uh, i gotta say the the rewards here are good and really really bad so mission reward i uh, complete the quest you get the protective pendant it's an accessory attack and magic plus 25 defense and spirit and spirit plus 10 enables dodging of the dead Chance of evading some physical and magic attacks, which is pretty good. This thing is really, really nice right here. Uh, defeat this poopy Gooligan with a limit burst. You get the Wolf Claws. Uh, attack 120, 200 weapon, Dark Elemental. It's a fist. That's really nice. And a Bulls Corpses Blight boost physical damage against Reapers. So that's really nice. This is this is a joke. Seriously, Gumi, uh, I think you're just laughing at us. Doing something like that is terrible. Use white magic, 10 lapis, and clear without an ally being KO, 10 lapis. I don't know. Just give us two rare summon tickets and, uh, I don't know, 100 lapis. What is this? 20 lapis. That, for me, that is a big joke in our face. And uh, I am not happy about this one. And uh, you guys can uh, let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this. But I think this is a big joke. This is pretty nice. But this right here, that is just, in my opinion, stupid. But... Ah, what do you want? That's uh, that's me being me for this one. But it doesn't matter because we still got some more stuff to talk about. Uh, important notices. Uh, I think it's this one here. Is it this one here? Uh, yeah, so basically Lilith and Lucius got some ability awakenings. Uh, Awaken Warrior. October 31st. Uh, this is going to be pretty nice. But I'm looking forward to Heo and all these other characters that are going to be uh, getting their abilities awakening. Uh, important important notices. I think that's the one. Yeah, so basically, thank you for playing Final Fantasy Brave Exodus. For new units we released in the future, abilities that were originally set as latent abilities upon a unit's Japanese release will no longer be locked as latent abilities, but will instead be made immediately available as part of these new units. Regular set of abilities and will not require enlightenment points for unlock or of uh, or tier advancement basically some units that were coming out in the jp version uh to match their stats and everything we had to awaken their abilities but right now what they're saying is we're going to be getting those abilities on the characters right off the bat we are making this change to the new units starting from the upcoming final fantasy 6 unit release to make them more flexible allowing our players to enjoy them with their full potential straight away however please do note that we will continue to Period, period, periodically add latent abilities to our already released units including including global original units so please stay tuned for more details on that in the future which is not that bad that's pretty cool but uh yeah i still want terra where's my terra uh we're gonna get the exchange shop i know i'm go for one subject to another but we're gonna go for the exchange shop right here uh, like always, as you're doing the step-up summon, you'll be getting those little purple coins and you'll be able to exchange them. And we're getting those... This one is actually a 30% ticket. So as you're doing the step-up, you're going to do it a full lap. Plus the first step of the second lap, you're going to be getting four of those tickets. And those four tickets, you'll be able to exchange them for a rainbow. And that rainbow is going to be a 30% chance to be a featured unit. So basically, Kefka or Shadow. Best of luck to you guys. I hope this thing would be around 50% or even 75%. Because, uh, look, if you're summoning on the batter, it's because you want the units. So stop giving units that you don't want. And guys, that's it for the news. Uh, latest infos. We got the uh, this here. Maintenance. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are still getting connection issues. So you guys have to fix this. But nonetheless, guys, 
Terra has been delayed again. But if you guys are a big fan of Kefka and Shadow, where well, here's your chance to summon for them. So guys, like always, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.